What's up? Whatever it takes might not be everyone's go-to when it comes to chick flicks and raunchy comedies, such as Can't Hardly Wait and American Pie and so on. This movie does have some some appeal, nostalgia qualities. So what better way to reminisce is revisit it and review it. So here we go. Ashley Grant is perfection. I can get you there. You can be that guy for her. Just have to help me be that guy for Meg. Yo. Sweet. I am getting to my next move with Ashley. She volunteers at a nursing home. Chris? Whoa. Who's last? I'm glad that you're a winner. Like me. <laughs> Fun director David Rain has an upcoming cast of teens. Shane West from I Walk to Remember, James Franco, Sam Raimi's Spider Man trilogy, Jared Leno Keefe, Crow Salvation, and Helen H. Duo. This movie does actually have some charm to it, um, along with the story, finding love in all the wrong places, realizing that it's always been right in front of you all along. <laughs> two teens with two different cliques, a jock and a nerd, set up to get the girl of their dreams and find out it isn't really essentially what they wanted in the long run. This movie did have potential, but honestly me looking back at it, it's not as good and I can see why it's not as popular as some of the other titles. I mean, the story is decent. It's actually better than some of the dialogue used in the film and that's what dates it as the jokes and everything with these quips and cheesy one-liners, terms and stuff used for them. It's really cringy now, honestly, a little bit. It's clearly just cashing in on the success of this is all that and two things I hate about you because it's essentially the same story and plot and setting up some sort of game and them finding out and being pissed and then them getting back together at the end. It's a very similar formula we've seen from those other titles that are done better than this. That was only in 1999, just a year prior before this, so it got kind of old. But the cast is good. There's some fun to be had in this movie, but seeing the different backgrounds and the perspective of the nerd and jock is fun and them attempting to impersonate one another and the way they go about the impersonations is pretty funny actually and i actually do really appreciate the overall message of the story um finding yourself and who you are and what you want and it's true in life you know even now growing up you can really always find a deeper meaning in someone or something you may be unaware of those things up until you experience something new and something else we thought we wanted and that's true in relationships as well. It's not time wasted. You always learn and grow from that person, good or bad. And that is the case here as well in your friendships, relationships, or any situation. So that would be 50 bucks for your therapy session. That's my view for whatever it takes. What do you think? Thank you for watching and please subscribe.